Hello everyone, Sheila back again, welcome to my channel. I am busy sewing up this green cardigan. I have done a few bits for the tutorial for it. And the last part that I had to, um, these are just videos, I haven't put them up yet on um, YouTube. But the last part I have to do is explain how to sew it up. So what I've done is I've sewn three seams, three of the raglan seams, and I've left one seam. So I'm going to use that one to show how to sew the um, flat stitch, the, um, that seam. And I'm going to sew up the side, the sleeve and the side on this side and leave. When I sew up that last seam on there, I will show how to do the... Um, the sewing up the side and the, um, the sleeve on it and then anything else that needs to be done. That's how I work things. And I'm just having a, a lazy day today. I've got no shopping to do. I don't, I don't do my shopping every week. I do it sometimes once a fortnight. Just if I run out of something if it's just like one thing, I'll just nip up to the, um, the shop up the street and like milk or something like that and get um, that. So otherwise, I'm just having a lazy day. So that's all I'm doing, just sitting knitting and sewing and that. And anyway, I did the little, I sewn up the little, that's the little white cardigan that I showed earlier on in the um the other video and I've sewn it up and put the um the buttons on and this is for a um an order for a friend I have another another one to do for her she wants a blue one I'm doing a hat I've just started knitting it I haven't um uh, thingy she wants a hat to go with this as well so I'm going to do a hat with the same hat on and put a little pom-pom on So well, that's that one to do. Then she wants a blue one. She just left it up to me, whatever pattern um, to do. So I'm going to do um, the blackberry because that's a size 18. I'm going to do the blackberry cardigan and hat for her. And that will be the size 18 that I have to do for the PDF because this is a 22. And I've done the other sizes. All I have left is an 18 and a 20 to do. So I'll do the 18 for that one and do it as a tutorial and then I'll just left with the 20 inch and then I can sort out the PDF and get it um, sorted out. But I explained in the uh, other video, I'd had a lot of emails from some of my subscribers thinking that I was ill or something like that because I hadn't put a, um, a video up for a, um, a few days. But I just explained in that video that I was quite all right. The only thing that's ill is my computer. I bought this computer I'm using now is my old computer. It's got a much better camera. Um, this computer, it's a Dell. It cost me, it was just over £500 I think um, for this computer and it went up the creek but I have fixed it but I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. I have fixed it because I have, I'm quite tech savvy. I know a lot about computers, how they work and all that. Um, my husband, I learned a lot of that from my husband. Um, I helped him build our own computer a lot of years ago um, when it was Windows 95. So that's tell you how long ago it was. But he used to have those old computers where I think there were 310 or 311 or something like that. And, there was no memory in them at all and he used to have me um, typing out because he used to fix things like televisions and VCRs that were at the, um, the time and uh, that and he used to put, have me put all the information what he used to do when he used to fix things. So I learned a lot from uh, him and I know the actual workings inside a computer, I know what can go wrong and, and that with them. But like I'm saying, this computer cost me just over £500 and it's it's a Dell. It's a very good computer. And I liked, always liked the camera on this because I never had any trouble with it. There was no, like my other one, the slight movement, your hand like that or the sun shining in the window and it used to go bright and back down dark and bright and dark. 
because it's got auto focus on you can't turn it off well this one hasn't got auto focus on but this computer hasn't got backlight which my other one has so it doesn't matter how i put the um the screen backwards or forwards on a with a backlight it doesn't make any difference it stays the same but this one if i move it too far forward it's light and if i go too far back it's dark so i have to keep it straight up more or less but anyway, my other computer, because this one that I'm using now went up the creek, which I fixed. It went up the creek, so at the time, I wasn't into sort of fixing, I just bought myself a new computer, because I was getting a lot of money from um, YouTube, I had plenty to buy a new computer with, so I paid £700. I looked for a one with the same specs as this one, high definition, because this is high definition for videos and things like that, and... I looked for what I thought was a really good camera. Well, the camera wasn't really, well, it was good quality. But because of that autofocus, it was utter crap. I ended up, I had to buy myself a tablet to do videos on because this one, I, that one, I just couldn't do them. Well, just recently, I don't know what it is, whether something's going wrong with it. I've only had it a year past January, so it's only just out of its warranty. And even if something had went wrong, um, it has to be a hardware thing before you can think, do anything about it. If it's um, the operating system or something like that, they won't do anything about it. That's just one of those things. But anyway, I kept getting what was called the blue screen of death. Every so often I'm doing something on the computer and it would just suddenly stop. And then this blue screen would come on, the blue screen of um, death that actually had. So that's what was happening with my computer, my newest one. And I did have some software that I was putting into it that, that it did that as well. Um, one of the, the TV, I have a couple of um, like little dongle things you put in the computer in. I just put a um, television aerial into it and I can get all the television programs instead of bothering with my television, which I never switch on. And one of those, um, I think it was Eva. This, yeah, I've got one's Eva TV series thing and the other one is a Win TV. I think it was the, the Eva one. This Eva one, that one there. When I was putting that software in, it came on, but as soon as I tried to uh, scan for to get the channels on it, that blue screen of death used to come on. Well, I knew that was a software problem. It wasn't anything to do with the actual computer. It was something to do with the software that either the computer didn't like it and that was causing that. So I knew what that was, but sometimes I am just working on my computer, typing something, and all of a sudden it goes off and this blue screen of death comes on. So I know that something is happening with that computer. Something is going to go wrong with it, I know for sure. And I even run a test where on the computer, you know, they do a test thing and it runs a scan thing and it'll let you know if um, it's finding any problems in it. Well, it never found any problems in it. But I know because of that screen thing that keeps coming on that something is going wrong on it. And I thought, I actually have three laptops. Um, when I had this one I've got now, the Dell one, um, when I bought this one, it had no um, optical drive in where you couldn't put DVDs in. And I didn't like that. I had a, um, I have an external one where I just... Um, plug into the um, the computer and that's how I put these discs and that things into this one. But I didn't like that one because all the computers I'd had before that had had the, um, they were included in the, uh, the laptops but they seem to be making them thinner, making the laptops thinner and that so they don't put them in anymore. So I bought this, it was an HP one. It wasn't very expensive but I only got it for um, being able to use the, um, the discs because I used to record a lot of things off the television for my husband um, when he was alive 
TV shows and films and things and I used to cut out all the adverts and everything for them and then put them through the computer because they were on discs I used to put them through the computer and that was why I liked the um, the DVD drive in the, um, the computer but after he passed I didn't need to do so much of that anyway but anyway this other computer I bought this HP it had two speeds dead slow and stop because it was only a cheap one and that was the one it was a, um, a spare in case anything went wrong with my Dell but when my Dell went up the creek that was why I decided to buy this other one that seems to be getting this blue screen of death now so I thought well, I'm not going to put up with that slow computer my Dell one I decided to open it up and have a look inside because I know more or less what components and that what to do and that and um, I thought to myself I'll buy one of those SSD drives they are like a, um, a solid state drive instead of the um, the ordinary ones which are like mechanical that's how I thought there was something wrong with the, um, the hard drive on it because when it first started going up the creek it made a, um, a funny noise and then after that everything just seemed to be very slow on it it didn't matter what i was trying to do on it on the internet or anything it was just so slow nothing seemed to be working right on it and that was why i bought a new computer so i decided i opened it up to see um what kind of um slots it had inside for adding any other hardware and that to it and i found it had a, um, a slot for a, a an SSD hard drive the solid state one so I thought I'll buy a new hard drive because I thought the hard drive had gone on it and while I was looking in it it has um it had a slot to put an extra RAM in it the RAM is the random access um, memory that more or less works your computer works you know how everything you're working on your computer the more things you you're working on at once is the more RAM you need well this had an 8 gigabyte RAM in it and it had a slot for it to put another one in so I decided I would buy this hard drive and the, um, an 8 gigabyte of RAM as well I thought that would give it a bit more boost it might work a little bit quicker so I ordered them this was quite a, um, quite a while ago and anyway they came and I had opened up the computer again to put these in so I put the um the RAM in the RAM in you just slotted them you just slot them into the um the places where they have to go and then I put the um the drive in the solid state drive and then booted up my computer again and it seemed to be working great it was going really fast when I booted it up it only took seconds to come on it used to take minutes before and I thought oh that solid drive thing I knew having a solid state driving would make it um, work faster as well and I thought oh that's what's doing it and maybe it's the, uh, the extra arms helping only when I checked that uh, I went into the BIOS to, um, to check that um, what I had put in and that and it had the solid state driving but it had no information on it and so I started up the computer again went from the BIOS and started up the computer again and I looked on the computer and the computer didn't recognize it but it was in when I went in the device manager it was shown in there it was shown both hard drives the one that was in originally and the one I just put in but it wasn't shown it has to have a drive letter for it to, um, to work in the computer so I had to go into um, the disk management device management all these things and sort out and had to figure it configure it out but I couldn't understand how it was working so well without this hard drive working in it because it's, it was so slow before it should have been exactly the same because it, it was still working off the same hard drive which I thought was up the creek so I've now come to the conclusion that it wasn't the hard drive it was the RAM that was up the creek 
And me putting that extra RAM in has made it work back the way it should have been before. So all I needed to replace really was the RAM. But I've got this solid state hard drive in as well. It'll do as an extra, an extra for putting more stuff in. You know, because I do have a lot of things in my computer. I put a lot of videos and TV and photographs and. I've got every single little video that I've made for YouTube are in there and they took quite a lot of room actually. Like, <laughs> But I like to, if I want to do anything with any of those videos, I can always download them off YouTube, but you don't get the same quality from YouTube because they, I, when I convert them, I convert them into a high definition. But YouTube, when you put them onto YouTube, they, they put them into a standard definition, so when I'm downloading them off there, they're not as good quality as what I've actually started with. So I keep all my own videos in case there's anything I want to check on on them. And they do take up a lot of uh, room. So after a lot of configuration and everything, I got the um, this new hard drive to work and that. And um, I gave it a, um, a drive letter for the computer and that. And, and it's been working fine since then. And so I am using the camera on that computer now and it's a much better, much better camera. But the only problem is when it starts getting dark, which I have now, cause it's quite a dark day. Actually, it's only half past three. We must be going to get a lot of rain. It suddenly turned very dark and I have a ring light. I'll just bring it forward and let you see the, um, the ring light. This is my ring light. It's standing behind the computer, so it's stopping the... Sound it back up again. It's standing behind the computer and it keeps the, um, the light nice on it. Otherwise, when it's dark, this, this computer, this camera doesn't do very good videos unless it's got that light behind it. So that's a little bit of my rant today and all about computers and all I have to do now is turn this computer, I've now finished, turn this computer upside down and put all the screws back in it that I had to take out. There's a lot of little screws in the, um, the back. But when I put the... Um, the solid state drive in it. I wanted the computer to boot from that instead of the old hard drive that was in it. So I took the old hard drive out before I did it. Just some tiny little miniature screws there were. You could hardly see them, but there was four screws and I put them on top of a book on my table and I was doing something and I knocked that book off the table and all those screws went on the floor. And, you know, in my carpet, I couldn't see those screws. I had to get underneath the, um, the table and I had my hand running over the carpet trying to find these. Because you could hardly feel them, though, that small. And with my eyesight as well. But I did eventually find them. But while I was down on my hands and knees under my table, I did notice something else. I'm going to have to move that table. You should have seen all the dust and the fluff that was running along the back. It's right against the back wall where my radiator is. And it was sick dust and fluff. I ran my hand along and there was a bundle of fluff come up there. Oh my God, I said I'm going to have to move that. <laughs> we'll pull that table out and give it a good vacuum behind there. So at least that was one thing. And let me see how much muck was under my table. I'll get it cleaned up. But anyway, I will be using this, whenever I use this, this computer, I'll be using it for making my videos and that. Unless anything happens and I have to go back to my, um, I don't like having to set up my, my tablet for to do photos and for to do videos and things like that. When I've got a perfectly good one on the, um, the computer, except my new, newest computer is just no good whatsoever for making videos. So that's my little rant over <laughs> for now. And now I'm going to get back to what I was doing, finish sewing this and then do a little bit video to show how I do everything else on this cardigan.
I don't know whether I'm putting it up on, on you on EB Street or we because I'm going to wait to see whether I get that offer from them again for the 80% off my selling fees. So I'm doing as much as I can anyway. I like to put a few things up at once. So give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all again later. So bye for now.